California motorcycle ride, hang gliding. This is part two of our ride up to Julian, and this is taken over from that video where after we leave Julian, we head down Highway 79 and turn on Sunrise Highway. Now we're going to go by two famous hang gliding sites. Yes, that's me when I was into hang gliding. I did it for over 20 years. And that is flying from Mount Laguna where we're going to. Our uh, favorite hang gliding site is a 3,000 foot vertical takeoff over the desert floor. Now we're heading south on Highway 79 out of Julian. And we're heading toward Lake uh, Cuyamaca. As soon as we get to Sunrise Highway, we're going to make a left and head out about four or five miles to Kwame Point. When we get there, we're going to make a left and it's just a little turn off off the Sunrise Highway. Now, Highway 79 here, you can see, is a great motorcycling highway. A lot of great scenery and some good turns. Once you pass Lake Cuyamaca on Highway 79, that is a... <laughs> Well, probably one of the best motorcycling roads uh, there is in San Diego, except it does have quite a few hairpin turns on it. I've been down there on my uh, iron horse, and uh, it takes uh, your arms to get tired after going down there. But the thing that a lot of people may uh, uh, not really realize is uh, that when you have thunderstorms up here in the summer quite often, they blow through and sometimes 20 minutes, a half an hour, blue skies come out again, the road gets dry, everything looks great. And if you're taking off from San Diego around that time, hey, uh, you probably don't even know it rained up here, although there might be some cumulus clouds around. But what happens if you look at the side of these country roads, uh, if they have a little bank like this one does on the side here, uh, little gravel gets washed down, especially on the turns. And um, when the road is dry, there's not much traffic on it. Uh, that can make for really hazardous conditions. You see a lot of the signs on, uh, on the 79 past Lake Cuyamaca are 15 miles an hour. Hey, if you're driving a, uh, a chopper, uh, that's what I'd recommend. Uh, because you don't want your uh, back wheel to skid out on you on some of those turns. Now we're going by Lake Cuyamac, it's there on the right. Uh, you don't really see a lake because obviously we're going through a drought at the moment. And uh, we are on the Sunrise Highway now. Here we are at Kwame Point. The takeoff is right in front of me, just on the other side of the barrier there. The barrier stops and that's where we would walk up and take off from. This is usually an early morning takeoff site because you do need east winds here. And later on in the afternoon, they typically turn to the west and then they'd be blowing down. The record from here is well beyond uh, Palm Springs and 29 Palms. Here I am over the town of Julian. In this shot, I'm flying over Granite Mountain. Those uh, shadows you see on the ground, those are clouds. The top of Granite Mountain is by where my feet are in the harness, and that's at 5,600 feet, a little over 5,600. I'm probably somewhere between nine and 10,000 feet in elevation right now. When you fly the desert and you land in the desert, you always want to land next to a highway because it's usually pretty hot out there. So here you can see when I was uh, doing the final turn to come on final approach right over the highway, uh, landing in a little uh, clearance out there in the desert. Now we're leaving Kwame Point. We're going to be heading uh, again south on Sunrise Highway to 8. And on Highway 8, we're going to uh, go east. And the first uh, rest stop or the first exit you come to from there is called Buckman Springs Road. And that's where we're going to be going uh, right across the Highway 8 from Buckman Springs, it's Horse Canyon. And that is the hottest thermal producing area in San Diego. And it's for west winds. And from there, people have also gone well beyond uh, Palm Springs. So it's, uh, you actually would fly over what we're riding. You'd fly over this part of um, Mount Laguna and then continue heading out uh, across the desert, uh, over to Warner Plain, up to Anza, and then 
into um, Palm Desert or 29 Palms. Here you can see uh, a lot of the trees up here are recovering from big fires we had in years past. And there's also some type of bark beetle that's been infesting the trees and killing a lot of them. Here you can see the yellow arrow is pointing to the Buckman Springs exit. The blue arrow is pointing to our takeoff there uh, at Horse Canyon. It's only 1,200 feet elevation over the uh, desert, but it is the hottest thermal producer in uh, San Diego County. This is what it looks like from the ground. You can see um, uh, the ridge right behind the landing area there. One of the guys wanted to feel like what it was to pick up a hang glider. So that's about it for this ride. Um, it was a great ride, a great day. And now I'm going to end this with showing you one of my flights off of Horse Canyon. Uh, and I was flying a Will's Wing glider. And so you could see what it looks like uh, an actual takeoff. You really have to run to get up your airspeed. And here goes. Geronimo! <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. custom motorcycles, be sure to get a free subscription to our popular motorcycle blog. Check the text below. Thanks.